Hello and welcome back to Sylvan Forest and we are in spring now. Snow has melted away and yeah, today is going to be a very busy day because we've got sheep to do, we've got production stuff, all these pallets to sell. We'll talk about this a bit more but what I'm going to do now is show you a couple of clips of basically us doing a few bits of bobs, mainly some contract work and but yeah, I'll we'll show you some clips and then we'll resume from there. Whilst we get these loaded up onto our goose trainer. Whilst we're waiting for the train, which is actually just going to come and reverse overtake us, I thought, get the wheel loader. It needs to be up here anyway. Because, yep, yeah, see that platform there between the timber carriages and I guess in that front carriage is supposed to be the carriage for the prefabricated walls or something, I'm not too sure. But yeah, not too sure what that first carriage was meant for, but yeah. We'll go and sell our timber now. Was it about 250-ish we should be getting for this or something like that, so... There is the train. You're going to be very busy today because we'll get you... Well, we'll try to use you with the cheat way we're going to use our Gooseneck Trader. And then we will do it the sort of semi proper way of using the wheel loader to get all the wood materials up. They'll bump over. As we know, I'm not being on PC as long as you don't have super super strength. Because it'll make life so much easier just to stack it. Like, how would I use it if we had super strength on console? This, it tends to be sack things, of course. At the moment, these new production pads aren't compatible with the disable pallet mods by Yoss Modding. I'm not sure that would change at some point. So yeah, 258, and that was with about a five grand deduction, I think. Um, because of what's it? Our oh, wrong piece of wood. So, what my thinking is, and this is going to go so wrong, so quickly. There's no point trying to get the wheel loader because it won't lift this trail because each metal rolls of metal. That's 1.3 tonnes. So that's good. Like, this is a good 40 tonnes of weight we're carrying at the moment. So, the trick is... I'll move the train just a bit forward a bit. Yeah, I forget the brakes on this, so I'll say about there. So yeah, we'll save the game. Because this may work, this may not work. 
Depends on how good the tension belt system on the train is. Oh, let me save it again. And actually how good sort of the game could calculate all the materials we're going to sell here, so. Set one. Turn the truck around. Well, actually they were perfect. We're backing this thing onto the train. Oh, come on, this could almost work. Oh, it's working! Oh, actually... Oh, dang it. We're stuck. But, you know what? We have achieved what we need to achieve. It's somehow registering everything as like three, four times what it is. That is super sketchy. If I even... Yeah. If you ever need a definition of sketchy, then that is truly is the definition. Bit of sketchy salesmanship, so. Are we going to hit anything with that one paddy that's sticking out? Shouldn't do. So this is going to be interesting. How will the game react to this? Oh. oh! 289 grand! And there's our... <laughs> that is... Oh, sorry, I was getting help, but... Oh, I'm so sure this. <laughs> Sorry, David, we've broken your truck. That is unbelievable. Oh, but I will say, oh, Trey, you forgot something. One pile of balls. But yeah. I've got to tell him why the truck. David has made a very good truck because despite game breaking glitchy physics, the truck is actually holding together very well. And as a mod, it's nicely made because I see even the drive shaft is like trying to turn. Can we drive this? Oh, I don't think we can drive this anymore, folks. Gee, yeah, about 289 grand we got there. That sounds about right for what we should have gotten. But, yeah. Whoopsie. I think we're going to need to reset those. But hey, it worked. Technically, we used to try to sell the goods, so no one could say we cheated. We were just being a bit lazy with how we chose to transport said goods. But now... Oh, yeah. That is... <laughs> that was hilarious. So, we'll call the train again. And this time we will do it a bit more semi properly. Rain is also forecasted for for about twelve o'clock, so yeah, we'll get the train again and we'll get this done the proper way more or less how you should do it. So the train is arriving soon. Oops, we don't will not make a difference, so anything in the use market at the moment, nope. But again, this is going to be a good money hole. 
Uh, we got five prefabricated walls, they're like worth 17 grand each, so nice bit of change. We got ooh, look at all those beautiful pallets. Actually, you know what? Whilst we're here, let's go and get that little forklift. So, yeah, what we're going to do now is, yeah, I think, do a little quick time lapse of getting all this done, and then we'll bring folks back into live recording, or whenever live record is, once we're done. So, yeah, task is, oh, there's a train. will be quick. Very sharpish because money is at the end. Soon. So, yeah, we'll get the forklift loaded, transport it up to the sawmill, get everything hopefully onto the train in one go, and yeah, we'll resume from there. to the boards and on planks it was like nope being a massive pain about it so getting stuck just because obviously of course obviously there is got to be a gap otherwise it could be a massive collision but the little bills on that forklift yeah did not help us out whatsoever so I'm gonna put our lasso on Actually, prior to this last cycle pile here, which I did get a bit lazy with, I do admit. Actually, it came out pretty well. Like, this is a properly stacked prefabricated walls. Bang on the job. And also, you may see, we got the new production. So now we've got every single production we need to get the Roku sorted. And the reason why, like, 
I didn't go crazy about setting the long planks there, which they do need, is because we set the sawmill to distribute long planks, but also for each step, no, yeah, each step in stage two, steps five to eleven, they require like five, six hundred litres of each product, so it seems going to be a bit of waste yet for that. We can get a couple of pallets in, and we're some there. Sell. Oh, that is nice. Oh, suddenly, get yeah, what's going on here? Two hundred sixty-five grand, but it's missed a couple of my materials. Why is that? Not too sure why. No, don't you? Want you? Because we're running solos. Because. Yeah, I do. I get it with the balls, okay, fair enough. Perhaps how they were positioned. All the other stuff were fine. 1.2k away. Please come back. Alright, so yeah, we're going to quick jump cut this. We're going to pick up all the materials. And then we'll see folks in a sec. Well, I'll see folks in a sec. Once the train has arrived, because. Yeah, no idea what happened there, but it is what it is, I guess. Actually, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to cheese this. There we go, 27 grand. Because, yeah, I'm not going to pay for a train and wait for a train. There we go. So yeah, we're back to six hundred and thirty-one grand. And I worry now, wait, as soon as I turn around, that trade's gonna come along there. And absolutely can be. On the way, the train's come back the other way, so I was uh, scared the train's gonna pop out there and get a massive rear shunt. But so yeah, we're back to yeah, six hundred and thirty six hundred plus grand. And actually, is that grass ready to mow again? Because we mowed it in, was it February or January we mowed it? If we mowed it in January, it'll be ready to mow now. Also, we did lease a fertilizer spray because that grass field has got a fertilizer seat to it, so. But yeah, we'll tab over. Oh, yeah, I've got to clean all this up. The grass hasn't grown yet. Hopefully, this regrows. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. So, you know. Just put you there. Yeah, always just plow this up and put some more grass in. So, we'll give it to April. So, collect these off cuts. It here to so one nicely pile, but yep, it is time I think to get some sheep in. So, get the last, yeah, couple of logs. Also, we do have that 12 meter container about somewhere. Ah, yeah, right there. So, we're gonna leave you there for now. Don't need access to anything that's so I need to worry about moving it. So, yeah, we'll go to sheep. And I think we'll go with Black Welsh Mountain. And I'm not going to worry about raising them because we need them for wool. So yeah, that is 250 sheep we got now. 250 sheep doesn't look like it, but yep, yeah, that is 250 woolly mammoths. Or at least the great, great, great descendants of a woolly mammoth. Well, the sheep eat woolly mammoth. 
Now, I'm probably just trying to bond you over too. You. Ah, yeah, that was it. I was going to use this for the harvesting contract. Actually, since we're over here, do, we did do a rock picking, well, not rock picking. Yeah, rock picking contract. Yeah, I was thinking of stone picking, but yeah, rock picking contract. We got 12,000 years of, of stones, or just over that. I'm going to get 31,000 litres of lime. So, in theory, see the other fields. Yep, yeah, there's. So do new. But yeah, lime. We should get a bit of money for that, because I did say to sell. But we've got dual like, sell everything contained. Ah, no, that's why. Ah, yeah, I'll tweak on to why we didn't do it, because it's the average pricing. It duh. So I thought, oh yeah, I thought it was the loan production was 600 and whatever quid, and nope, I was wrong. Please say we can put that loan back in. Hopefully. No, that's not how it works. Nope. Oh yes. Anything in the used market? Yep. Nope. So we'll go to our productions. And we'll go up to... You. I was... Fast forward time a bit till 11 o'clock. Five hundred and fifteen grand. So that ain't too bad for us. Wait a minute, we was on six hundred or so grand. Where, where, did, where did you spend a hundred grand on? I've lost track of what we were doing. Because yes, it was back to like six hundred ish grand when we sold everything. We did buy more stuff, didn't we? Didn't buy any more equipment. Did we just lose a hundred grand all of a sudden, or what? Bear with me, is that kind of yeah. I need to look at something. Shh. Yeah, ignore me, ignore me. Yeah, of course, Envoy, we got, we got sheep, so that's where the money went to. Yeah, that's true, that makes sense. Road coaster, almost done with step two, I think this is. But yeah, that is coming along very nicely. Nope, can't lift a floor tile, so... I'm just going to move our little scrambler around, because we did, yeah. I had a bit of fun with this, obviously in the winter and out through the snow. Ozzy being a biker himself. Do like the biking mods whenever we do get them. But yeah, don't need a scrambler, we need a proper sports bike, so... If anyone has, anyone's got that mod in, get this. Turn it into a proper sports bike. You know, like a Suzuki, a Kawasaki sports bike, R1. Oh, well, yeah, it's just something. So, yeah, we'll leave the this bit on at the front, the forge pickup, because we will do the harvesting contract on field one. And again, we'll use that straw to make a lot of money. Actually, also, how is the boatyard doing yet today? Dang it, come on, hurry up. Obviously, we're going to miss our March deadline for the boatyard, so... It's not me, it's these people working. You are going down, right? Yeah, it is going down, just... Very slowly uh, processing this. So yeah, we'll be a couple months behind. 
But at least it's got all the material needs, it's got all the fabric and all that, so it's just a matter of time. So yeah, eventually we'll get to the right piece of equipment. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much these sheep need. But it needs all of the grass, some of it. I've got no clue, so... Get the grass in. Because frankly, we don't need gr water to be provided. It's got... We've got our own... An inbuilt supply of water from the pond. So we don't need to provide a continuous source of H2O. Yeah, let's leave it at about just under half. So will it need... Actually no, better tipping point. There we go, that's better. Not so much, but yeah. So why is it... Ah, cause I, think, yeah, I think it's because of the tipper, ain't it? The tipper body on this. Is there an option to change it? Green door. Let's try the backside one more time. There we go. So yeah, it's, I think he'll need the rest of this and maybe a little bit more afterwards. But yeah, so we'll get this empty, get the shoots topped up. And I'll see you folks in a second here once we're done. So yeah, at the end we have to get uh, the TARDIS out. Because, yeah. That was working a lot better. So yeah, sheeps are fed. They required 60,000 years of grass. And it's, yep, grass seal take. Yeah, grass or hay, it says it'll take. So, now what we'll do is take this down to field one. And we'll use this as the sort of grain transport for the oats, I think this is. Is it oats, right? Yep, oats. So we'll drop that off. Tabulated over to the John Deere T560 that has been conveniently parked for us. Not too close from the field. Our equipment. I was just messing around with the. Uh, what's it? The. Logitech Side Tech Side Panel. <laughs> Go and unfold this baby. I think, yeah, with like arable farming, we it would be good to have a combine of our own. Because there is some nice combines from the deer ship. Obviously, that's just what we're using at that moment. 285 grand. I'll say it's a bit expensive. Like, we go with the ease, like some of the case axle flows, four wheel drive or two wheel drive versions. 60 grand. Or, if you want to go sh absolutely. I'm going to say stupid. 
but go for something that is completely not suitable for the map whatsoever in the slightest then go with the Colossus but if that pops but if that pops up in the second hand market for 50% off I am jumping on that quicker than a dog in heat But I think realistically we would have gone with the, the case axle flow, four wheel drive, 70 grand. For at least, so it feels one and two, it is really suitable for us, because how much are they? And they're always a bit more expensive than the rest of it, so yeah. We're looking at. Oops. Should we just go ahead and buy this? Now, now I think we'll do the contract work because we don't need the money for grain, we don't need grain for anything at the moment but yeah I think it'll be a nice, it'll be a, a nice change to the series but it'll be a potential route we could go down at some point down the road Obviously, don't have to make any rash decisions now. Or that. Well, actually, you know what? We've got the money. I'm gonna go crazy with this. Please say I've got the mod installed. No, me, I probably do. Yes, I do, baby. I'll go to these. Nah, you know what? Yeah, we've got we've got the money. Let's go a bit spurious on it. Fifteen grand. Yeah. Go with the police lights. Why not? Yeah, let's just go a bit crazy. No, no, we'll have some limitations. Ah, nah, we won't go with a nice hot pink. Right blue? Ooh, that looks nice. Looks weird, I'll admit. Not sure we've got the bigger headers for that, but we're not going to use those. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, this is purely waste of money. Yeah, especially for a contract of this size. Absolutely easy, yeah. Serves no purpose whatsoever. But do I care? No! But yeah, this will be a very quick job, so yeah. We'll get this done. And yeah, I'll see you folks in a short moment.
routes we get from the contracts because obviously the main money for free here is the straw. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much money we can get. I'm not too fast on the price differences between this and the silver and market. But yeah, that colossus was a nice little treat for us. Nine grand we made from that grain. Oh, no, no, we'll complete the contract yet. Because we need to pick up the straw first of all. But yeah, that colossus was a nice little treat for us. Certainly helped out, certainly made the job a lot quicker. But yeah. Costs of it, not really worth it in general, but oh well. So, not so much we're making enough money where we could just splurge it whenever because this money will be reinvested at some point. Obviously, we got all the productions as it is at the moment for the roller coaster, but yeah, that is a three year project. So, we go into year four. By the time we actually get to complete this, because obviously we didn't start straight away. But certainly up there now it is, it's getting underway. And yeah, we'll just keep on topping up as and when it's needed. And once we get a few Panasonic barrels and shingles and all that, may not be like in April or May ish time. Or certainly come like May or June, at the very latest, we will do a massive sell there, see what it take, what it won't take. And the rest of it again we'll sell like we did today with at the train to Elm Creek perhaps. But yeah, there's many other productions to do in that. And actually this was this whole Lisa thing. I may dab into it's on the bunchers are the bunchers in feathers that are part of the, I think there's the one buncher of feathers part of the plant DLC. And then there's also the lizard, or was it lizard John Deere 69955? That recently came out. What I'm on about is, so if we go to forest machines, well, actually, what I did know is actually, if we go, look when you look at the bottom, it tells you like the width of the trees you can cut so that the base can come out to, could you set one me centimeters? 64 centimeter logs, but things like the Rotna that could do 80 centimeters. So, I think the problem when I what was it, Adelshoven, I think it was when I was having issues with cutting trees down. No, no, it was Comstone, it was, I was having issues with cutting trees, but something like this we may free it, grant to lease it, we won't lease it now. But yeah, so something like this perhaps. We cut 127 year tree logs. Of this. Of course, this can only cut two trees and a maximum diameter of 58 centimeters. The tree harvester can only do 55 centimeter trees. That could, or if we get this one with the tree harvester head, and that is 81 centimeters. But why is that one only 55 centimeters? But yeah, I'm not too sure. But yeah, like something like that would be really beneficial for us to at least have a dab in because you. We do have like the massive like redwood tree well not redwood trees or what are they called again? I should forget what it's up here, like, the trees up here. Uh da, 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 da. Like, these ones here, what are they called again? They're not redwoods. Uh giant sequelas. I know from what Drive 53 show that these trees they look massive now, but they are worthless. As timber for sawmill, but even I think I think we we'll get to a point in the series where we aren't going to be too worried about things like how much money we can make because Silver Run, there is so many sources of income. 
50 grand in these in the equipment just to test it, see how it is, how it performs. Because yeah, so you cutting trees like that, you kind of bunchers and that. We, I tried on constant and wasn't a big fan of them, but on the forestry in FS22, you know, the farm in general with 19, not many people were fans of it. But I think with 22, I think definitely with the mods and that, in that 19, that opened up forestry to a lot of people. Especially like North Mono Com Company and. Oh, what's the other mod? There's a HR. Oh, I can't remember the name of my head, but. Like, these kinds of models do bring a, a lot of nice equipment to the game. And just sort of a different variety of just like different ideas of what we could use. And again, I think a lot of that will help with progressive farm sims, especially with. I think with the announcement of the year two season pass, Giants won't release Farm Sim 24. I think they may do a three year cycle to so we have Farm Sim 25. That'd be my thinking because of, again, at the moment, even as we head into 2023, the ability of consoles, and especially next gen consoles like PS5s mainly, for here in the UK, I've is sort of more easier without having to pay scalper prices even still now. Bloody hell. But I think that gives the time to people to adapt to the new gen consoles. I get to the point like where we were with PS4s and Xbox Ones on the last gen consoles where it's basically like everyone had one mate where you have people on PS3s gaming. I think if Giants do release Farm Sim 25, I think by that point, given current local well, local and global situations, people will be in a better suit, so it makes sense. I guess it's hard to believe Farm Sim 22 is a year, which is over a year old already. It is really hard to believe that. But, yeah, just one of the things, time flies, yeah, I mean, I have a bit of a three month spackle. Well, not spackle, but three month absence from it. And I've missed so many mods, like, I've gone back look on the Mod Hub and watch some DJ Gums videos and mod reviews of the mods I've missed. Main CP's videos, because I like how, me personally, I like how he does it, where he'll get each equipment and show it. But, yeah, you know, that's just how people do that's how just people go about things. So like me with Farm Sim 22, there are so many things I want to do. So many like test stuff so I want to do, things like grapes that I was going to experiment with. Once there's no point in doing them now, it's but uh, sort of like the hype of it sort of came and went. But certainly some videos I will think about doing. Especially with like the platinum DLC, there is some Videos I will perhaps make in the next week or two. As long as Drive 53 doesn't beat me to them. <laughs> but, you know, but yeah. Yeah, some of those videos I've got things about. Things like with the containers, with the Pacific trees. I'm sure I've actually, has Drive 53 done any Pacific video on what type of trees is best to sell at the containers? Because, yeah, we know, obviously, in terms of pure lease ridge. Like the large pole pines and that, like the newer pines and um, rows of trees, you get more literage per tree compared to. Well, basically, the value of the logs is worth more, if that makes sense. So, in theory, if you sell them into the container. Yeah, actually, I think that's pretty much answered my question, hasn't it? Where, yeah, the newer trees are the best trees to sell. But yeah, it's, again, even just with ideas like that, it's going to more depth into it. And just like, do some of those showcases, like, what equipment would you need to, I don't know, cut X certain trees and that. So, a couple of ideas. Oh, that's supposed to be turning on here. We've almost got a full trailer of straw here. 
In NASA, I mean, it had like 180 odd thousand years, I think. Or something like that. Yeah, we could put some destroy into the biomass heating plant. But, yeah, we're not getting the. Yeah, I think for now. Nice old production. Again, a bit of passive income. But not a real great money maker, as per se. Well, it's not anything personally, but. Okay, we are full. So, yeah, we will go and sell this. At the sell everything container, I think. So, if you go up here, go to straws. Best place for straw is. Yep, sell everything container. Well, pretty much that and sell market is within £2 per thousand years. And since we've got 200,000 years, that makes a little bit of difference, but not too significant. But yeah, so we'll go and sell this. Lovely straw. Makes you very itchy. But yeah, so that is that and actually one thing we could look about is so yeah, some of our equipment like the Komatsu that needs a service this needs what well, this definitely needs diesel at some point cleaning wise a bit filthy not too bad but yeah so we'll do a quick little time lapse because this is actually going to empty in pretty slowly so yeah we'll quick get this done and then we'll resume from there About 33 grand in well, 33,500 quid in straw, so yeah, ain't too bad. Just about covered the cost of uh, leasing out the Colossus, but I'll say it's worth every penny. So, yeah, what we've done also quickly, we set the um, smelter or the what's it actually called? Iron furnace. To distribute metal to the bowels factory as well as to the furniture fa factory because we want to make some armoire as well because that will armoire is it how do you pronounce it armoire armoire not short sure. basic cupboards so chair tables and cupboards So yeah, we're going to need a lot of material, so I thought, okay, once we've got these sort of loose bits of wood, you'll see what is needed here, or at least what they're willing to accept. So pretty much most of that. That's fair enough. And I think with the last bit of wood, we will make some wood chips. So, where we're going to get our chipper and that, we'll go to the sawmill actually, because I didn't realise, well, I saw a saw an aesthetic piece. Oh, you annoying blue car. Have a bit of rubber. Yeah, first of all, I thought it was just a purely aesthetic, but no, there is an actual functional wood chipper. So I know with sawmill itself, it, if you give it pieces of wood that is less than one and a half ouch, centimeters or one and a half meters, sorry it will literally just turn it into wood chips. 
Actually, you know what? Yeah, heck it. We'll give this bit of crap timber to this whole mill. I know the animation's gonna look a lot weirder than him. So obviously, with the animation, it's in massive logs. And these are little teeny tiny logs. Maybe with an exception of one or two, but. Oh, yeah. I need to be careful my driving because. Yeah. I yeah, get away with speaking something like this, it's like crazy. So yeah, we will, yeah. Put this into the pond. At the order we will find a use for. We'll plant a small tree like down here. Then have it connected to one of the bigger trees far down there. So yeah, so me at the moment is forty five thousand litre. Yeah, maybe a thousand or two. Yeah. I don't think that little log is gonna produce those kind of logs. But anyways, as our little logs are turning to big logs, going up to the sawmill, that is now at, yeah, 46,000 a year, so, yeah, we've got wood chips set to distribution, long planks set to distribution, actually, does anything need wood beams or prefab walls? as part of these productions, I didn't think so. Nope. But yeah, that is working out very well, actually. Actually, yeah, I think, I think to end the episodes, we will sort of see whether the boat yard should, should progress a bit more. I don't, maybe into tomorrow. But yes, certainly the road coaster, that will hopefully progress into the next stage. As we skip ahead time of year. I don't think anything physically changed. I know, like, a couple of times I've seen, maybe there was a little change that I may not have noticed. I know this certainly has. No, no, no not that. Now it's all about four, this, I thought the sort of up bit here where it goes up was over here, but no. So, yeah, maybe not everything always changes, but now we're on to the next step, step three. And it needs wood beams, three, let's say four, pa four pallets of wood beams. So apparently there is a rounding number issue. It's got enough planks, wrong planks, it's got enough of, it's got enough metal, it's got enough floor tiles, just about. And so yeah, these two pallets of staircase railings. So yeah, two care, yeah, so two staircase railings. And four pallets of beams. What about the boat yard? Has that progressed at all? Oh, it has. I did not see this going out. I wish I did. But that boat is almost completed. It's got all the material needs. Yeah, it's got wood beams, it's got plenty of floor tiles. It's got enough fabric as well. Actually, speaking of fabric, how is our sheep doing? Or sheeps? We're looking good, got a bit, good bit of me, have got some wool, baby. Yeah, good morning, sheep. So, yeah, 
sheeps are producing wool, and I think we're getting materials now from our other productions. So yeah, we've got our barrels, bathtubs, buckets. Got the whole shabam. Furniture. Please, so yes. Not quite yet, so we need planks, so. We need planks and metal's got plenty of metal for now. Got a scene contract we could do as well, so yeah, heck it, why not? Let's do that as well. We'll do the contract. Ah, uh, what does it need? Oh, that's a nice tractor for sale in the second hand market. Contract requires some flower, so we need a planter. No, not something like that, but yeah, heck, it'll have a bit of fun. So, I'll, yeah, have a fun now. We'll mix things up in these kind of episodes. But yeah, that is where we're going to leave it today. Everything is stage 2 of the Roku Sir project. Yeah, it's just exciting days. And I think I'll chill out for the morning here at the moment on the lovely beach. Look at the sunrise. And yep. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for choose to do, hope you're having a nice day. But for now, it's be from Rainbow Extreme, and I'll see you all a very soon. But yeah, let's go and chill on the pier for a little bit. Ah, nice.